Okay, I'm actually really drunk right now. Hashtag pray for okay, Brianna. Hashtag pray for Brianna. <laughs> I would say my most unhinged, most chaotic vlog I've ever filmed. I am here to narrate you through this because without me, this vlog makes absolutely no sense. With that being said though, I think it has the potential to be one of my best vlogs. So trust me, you guys are in for some ups and downs, some laughs, maybe you'll cry with me. Coachella is honestly a crazy thing to experience. I was lucky enough to be invited by White Fox to Coachella. I love White Fox so much. Every outfit you see in this vlog is from White Fox. What I'm wearing right now, what I'm wearing in the clips, what everyone else is wearing in the clips. Literally every outfit, if you see anything you like, it is from White Fox. I'm also gonna have a code and a link in the description, so feel free to check all of that out. And let's just hop into the mess. <laughs> the morning of day one was so chill. We had breakfast, we got some IVs, just so we're staying hydrated, and then we started getting ready. Welcome to day one of Coachella! I'm so excited, I'm already losing my voice. I don't understand what's going on, but let me show you guys the look. We went for kind of a subtle makeup look today. We have like hot pink under the eye and some gems, but nothing too crazy for Coachella. I definitely want to step it up for other days. But the outfit, oh! But the outfit today, it's giving back. It's giving Hannah Montana. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. And Alex is wearing the same dress but in silver. I also did freckles today. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of subtle. I wanted it to look natural, but I'm obsessed. Anyways, it is time to go get my photos. We just finished taking photos and of course Adeline is now getting everyone shots because that is how this goes. Look what they got us! They got us 1942, I'm obsessed. Cheers! You would have a f***ing bitch fit if my Wi-Fi doesn't f***ing work. We've actually been trying to post photos for like an hour and it's not working. Go! That was so bad. I'm crying. That was terrible. After taking a few too many shots, we headed to Coachella and at this point my feet were starting to hurt because I was getting too cocky. I was wearing these white high-heeled boots and I really thought that they were comfortable. I really was walking around the house and then being like, oh, I can wear these all day, no problem. We start walking to Coachella. We're about halfway there and I'm like, oh shit, I f***ed up. We're at Coachella right now. We're on one of those little like bike things. I don't know what they're called. But Adeline didn't want to get one, but I was like, I'll pay $15. So Alex was just like, I'll pay $15. Adeline wants to take a black SUV everywhere. I don't know why she didn't want to get this. I don't understand why this would be one of them. <laughs> Once we actually made it to Coachella, it was time for the concerts. I just gotta say, Miss Chamberlain is winning at life. Every single girl at the role model concert, I know they wanna be here. Every single girl wanted to be here, like that man. I didn't realize how hot he was. We love sunscreen. So, 
We are getting towards the night time, and at this point, my feet were honestly bleeding. And I also was starting to get very cold, because Coachella can get cold at night, and I did not bring any kind of jacket. I was in this like metal dress. I was not prepared for the weather. So my friends were like, Bree, just drink a little, and you'll warm up, because that's how alcohol works. You don't feel things, you don't feel pain, you don't feel cold. So I'm like, you're so right. Let me just, I got a little, a little drunk. And by a little, I mean, we were pretty, pretty blackout. Before you see the footage you're about to see of me honestly blackout at Daniel Caesar, I just wanna say that I only get this drunk maybe like two or three times a year. And my friends have nicknamed this version of me, Samantha, because it is simply not me. Who you are about to see is not me. Here. Brianna's losing it. <laughs> Brianna's losing it. I'm actually really drunk right now. Yo, we're in the middle of the crowd. So it appears my ID, my uh, my debit card, it's just gone. It's a, little, it's a little missing at the moment. I'm scared. There are some very important documents a little missing. Wallet stolen. My wallet gets stolen, my bitch. I get cash. Pray for Brianna. We can literally hashtag pray for okay, Brianna. Hashtag pray for Brianna. We can actually went viral on TikTok. It literally has 1.7 million views right now and I posted it two days ago. I'm kind of scared. But some bitch stole my wallet! <laughs> Anyways, then Daniel Caesar went on. He was great. Loved him. Unfortunately, about halfway through, I had to pee really, really bad. But Alex, Andre, and I had already pushed our way up to like basically the catwalk. So we didn't want to leave our spot. So I was like, okay, you guys stay. I'm gonna go pee and I'll come back. Yeah, that didn't work out. I was not able to make it back to them. So I was kind of just like lingering behind them and like I couldn't see them, they couldn't see me. They were gone for the rest of the night. Also, I miss Justin Bieber. Yup. I went to pee when Justin Bieber went on. I lost Alex and Andre and honestly every single person I know, but I'm in GA right now trying to get the best seat for Harry Styles. Y'all, the amount of footage I got today is simply pathetic. So here I am taking <laughs> This is so bad. I don't even know why I'm filming this. Look, I'm not even centered. I'm in the bottom. <laughs> literally been on the phone for like four hours like holy f i've talked to maybe 10 different people how is it this hard to cancel a debit card literally every time they're like oh i'm not the right person oh i'm not the right person put me on the phone with the right person which are not the debit card or the credit card team they have the cipc prepaid support group their phone number is i've literally been on the phone with like 10 different people oh, I today like I understand that. However, it's just not within our, I would say, control to do access those accounts. We don't have access to them. Um, yeah, can I be transferred? Day two was mentally draining. I spent like over five hours on the phone with my bank. And I know what all of you are gonna say. You're gonna be like, Brie, why don't you just log on to your bank and freeze your card? It only had the option to do that with my credit card, which was not missing or lost. That was like in Canada. But what was stolen was my debit card and a prepaid like US card. And both of those, it did not give me the option to freeze them. Like the only way to freeze them 
was to call and I kept getting transferred from person to person to person. The only place I could even get like cell reception was like outside. I literally couldn't enter the house or else the call would drop. And in between being transferred from person to person, there would be like a 40 minute long wait. I literally was miserable. Like I hated my life during those five hours because all I wanted to do was either enjoy the pool or get ready or get photos or make content and I couldn't do any of that. Also, the bitch who stole my card was spending my money. They literally spent $100 on sandwiches at Coachella. It sent the receipt to my email and I could literally see their signature. Like they faked my signature. And then when I was on the phone with the bank, they were telling me that there were charges from CVS. They were like this and that. And that they tried to use my card like for some type of subscription. Also, while this was going down, I got an email that was like, thank you for your purchase of an iPhone 13. My heart stopped. I was like, what the f They used my card to buy an iPhone 13. Like, I'm gonna, like, kill them. Once I opened the email, I realized that it was just a scam email and that they actually did not use my card to purchase an iPhone 13. But I nearly had a heart attack. It was time to start getting ready. I helped Adeline with her hair. She was doing, like, this cool little braid thing with all these, like, gems in it. I went for a very Cassie-inspired look. I went with, like, all blue, matching blue set. Honestly, it was super cute. And then we headed to a liquid IV party because our boy Jack Harlow was performing and obviously we had to see him. Pam, and I feel like I know it from the pan. I can put you in. I've been a I mean, at this point, we're like lesbians. People were responding to my story and Adeline's story being like, the crowd is not it. Why is the crowd so lame? And I think it's because it was like an influencer party kind of thing. So I think all the girls didn't want to fangirl because they're like, oh my God, maybe he wants to hook up with me. And all the guys were like, maybe we'll be bros. Like, I feel like influencers think that they can become friends with like celebrities. So no one wanted to like freak out, you know? I'm talking to the thinking that he is looking at me. While Jack Harlow was performing, I met this girl and she was like, you look like Cassie from Euphoria. And I'm like, wow, thank you so much. And then she told me that she makes the glitter for Euphoria. And then she gave me a bunch of glitter and I was really excited about it. We're walking. We're wearing sunglasses because it is quite dusty the at the dust moment. It's lighting my eyes and honestly, it's gotten in my mouth. I look so, this is not a look with the glasses no, in the hat. Okay, but it's safety first. You don't want pieces true. of true. I understand glass. why people have like the little scarves The now. bananas. It makes I sense. <laughs> Guys, Nikki and I just made a Cassie and Maddie TikTok and it's, it's so, so good. good. No, you nailed the Cassie. You were like bouncing your boots like. <laughs> My titties are bouncing a little bit. And are like, you committed? Go to Nikki's TikTok to watch it. It's good. Literally so proud. We really I need to find a sound for my TikTok. I haven't found you one have yet. To. Getting me makeup remover, a queen. Thank you. Day three, Coachella was really starting to get to me. My skin was breaking out. I had blisters everywhere. I couldn't stop crying for some reason. I actually cannot believe that I'm putting this footage in here with my skin looking the way it is. For the longest time, I would never show you guys what my skin looked like without makeup, especially when I'm breaking out and it's still something that I'm like working on, like being open and real about that stuff. And yeah, I do not look cute in the footage you're about to see, but this was just the reality of the situation. Welcome to a crying day three of Coachella getting ready with <laughs> If you watch my friend's vlogs, you've definitely seen different bits and pieces of like what's been going on with me, but honestly, there's like a lot of things that I'm dealing with that I can't talk about. And it just feels like a lot of things are going wrong at once and we were falling apart a little bit on the Coachella trip and it's very frustrating because more than anything, I wish I could show up and like be the best version of myself. Like I'm literally living this dream situation in this dream house with like my friends with my favorite brand and it's like very frustrating to me that i can't be like the version of myself that i want to be right now there's literally like 20 things 
piling up and it's like tr I'm trying to figure out how honest I can be because some things I genuinely can't talk about like the most I can say about one thing that's really stressing me out is that I'm most likely gonna have to take someone to court there's most likely gonna be a lawsuit there's just like a bad situation with me that that's pretty much all I can say that's one thing stressing me out <laughs> two you guys know Jeep guy that's going down you guys have only like known about him recently but I don't know. I got too invested too quickly and it's just kind of dragging on and getting messy and that's stressing me out. Obviously my wallet got stolen. Um, I'm currently using my dad's card on Apple Pay which is like how I'm paying for anything. There's a bunch of things honestly. It's not just that. There were other things stolen too. And it's like if I was home normally I just wouldn't vlog when I'm feeling like this but it's like I have to do a Coachella vlog. Like that's literally like what I'm here to do. And on top of that I am in this gorgeous house with like a lot of really really amazing people but I'm also an introvert in the sense that I recharge by being alone so dealing with all of these overwhelming things and like constantly being surrounded by people like you cannot get alone time the only reason I'm alone right now is because everyone else is at Coachella I'm going super super late I don't think I'm gonna go to like 8 p.m. I needed some time for myself to lay in the pool and just like be alone I weirdly feel better now <laughs> I don't know why I feel better. I think I just wanted you guys to know like what's going on with me. So if I am being like weird in other people's vlogs or if I'm not like posting a lot, this is why. Why am I a Cancer Moon? Who put that in my chart? I don't want to be a Cancer Moon. I cry too much. I need my Sagittarius to come out right now. <laughs> It's so funny because my life is so up and down. Like, I'm constantly like, my life's amazing. I love life. And then I'm like, having a mental breakdown. I feel like I'm probably a confusing person to follow. You're like, is she happy or is she not happy? Okay, I'm gonna be back and I'm also not gonna be crying when you see me again. So this is my coffee that I got earlier. And I'm realizing here that Adeline left her coffee. Which means I now have two coffees. So at least that is going right. I have not eaten anything today though, and it is like 5 p.m. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, I need to get ready. I need to eat. Let's get ready. Let's stop feeling sorry for ourselves. Let's transform into a bad bitch so that we can shake our ass to doja. Let's shake some ass and let's be happy. <laughs> I'm gonna try using some of the glitter I got from the Euphoria Girl. I feel like this will look cute on my cheekbone. I really hope that it's showing up on camera because it looks stunning. Why does this look stupid? I thought this would look cute. That looks so bad. All right, this is the finished hair and makeup. I've definitely had better looks. I'm not like obsessed with it but it's good enough. <laughs> I did a little fishtail braid, which I haven't done in a really long time, and honestly, we just kept the makeup simple. I'm gonna change into a different outfit for a photo, but then this will be what I'm wearing to Doja Cat. Oh my god, guys, I'm in the bathroom right now. You see my outfit. You see what I was planning on wearing. My period just started a week early. A week early, bitch. I had no tampons or anything because I was not prepared for this, but I was luckily able to get some from my roommate. She had some, thank God. My period starting a week early really did explain a lot of my unhinged emotional behavior. It kind of made sense of the whole situation for me. So once I discovered that, I honestly just threw on like jeans and a tank top. I couldn't be bothered to put on a cute outfit. I did get photos in this one though. This dress was cute for photos, but I simply wanted to wear jeans and a tank top to the actual Coachella. I find Alex and we decide that we want to look for Adeline and Andre so that we can all you know meet up for the weekend in Swedish House Mafia and watch it together. They're not answering our text but we're like that's fine we have their location like let's just go find them. We walk to where it says they are and they are simply not there. It is a wide open empty space they are not there. We're like did they drop their phone like we're looking for their phone in the grass we're so confused. Then eventually Andre's location pings to like this random laser tent. So we decide to go in there and we're looking for Adeline and Andre and we cannot find them anywhere. At this point, we're like, did they lose their phones? Like, are they dead? <laughs> did they get kidnapped? Like we were 
genuinely feeling concerned. We hadn't heard from them in hours. We couldn't find them when we tracked their location. Like, they weren't talking to anyone. We can't find them! We were thinking the worst. This has literally been the best Coachella oh, ever. Yeah. Eventually we hear from them saying that they're having the best night of their lives and we're like, okay, fine, have fun. And we just go to enjoy the weekend at Swedish House Mafia. We're leaving Coachella. I'm kind of sad. One thing I was not prepared for when it comes to Coachella is the Uber I situation. Told you, it's a this is crazy. <laughs> Did I not tell you? Oh my god. She was telling me that people were paying $500 to leave Ni Nyla, Neon, what is it? Neon Carnival. Neon Carnival. I don't even yeah, know what's I'm going like hitchh on. Hitch hitchhiking in random cars because there's no service, no Wi Fi. Can't even call an Uber, so you just get in a random person's car to get you to civilization. That. I feel like people warned me about the craziness, <laughs> but you don't know until you experience no, yeah. it. Like you could tell, like the way that all the Ubers are like lined up and there's yeah. like, letters and shit. So like, chaotic. Like a hundred thousand people trying to get an Uber. A hundred, literally. <laughs> and like that's why we don't wait for the headliner to end because imagine mm -hmm. this plus like all a ton of people. You that's just literally like, have to miss the headliner sometimes just so you can do. leave. Or else you won't get one before the morning. The Uber situation on the way back was literally a nightmare. It was the worst thing possible. We we're waiting for hours. We couldn't get a driver, and then we get this text from Andre. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just not built for festivals or like what is going on, but the fact that they're like, we skipped home. I would literally rather die. Overall, Coachella is crazy. I'm really happy that I got to experience it because it was something that I always wanted to experience. This was my first ever Coachella. Honestly, looking back, we made so many memories though, and it really was fun. It was chaotic, but it was fun. Honestly, big thank you to White Fox for taking care of us for that weekend. Like they really just were taking care of our every need. They provided the best outfits for us. We all got fake tan from the baddest fun, White Fox's like sister company. So we were all looking glowy and amazing. They really made this experience for us. So I love you, White Fox. I love you, the baddest fun. Thank you to their entire team for taking care of us that weekend. They were the best. If you guys ever need new clothes, make sure you shop White Fox and use my code Brianna WF. I love you and I will see you very soon with probably a slightly less dramatic and chaotic vlog. Bye.